Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students here, General English Language and today is our ninth class and we're going to uh, cover the following topics, frequency adverbs and we'll be having a text to read and then we will talk a little bit about uh, one of the uh, most important tenses in English called past progressive tense and uh, then we're going to talk, uh, we will have a kind of a list of uh, vocabularies uh, hopefully we will have um, enough space for them. We will start first of all with the vocabularies as usual. It's just kind of a, um, uh, you know, it's kind of a warming up class, a warming up uh, activities. خلينا نبلش في vocabulary previewing. The first new words you have here um, is environment. Environment means the condition we live in, everything around us. The house, the university, the, uh, the supermarkets, and whatever. This is called. This is called. These are all called the environment. We uh, have our hardships. Hardships means problems, pains in our life. Teenager, a person's age between 13 and 19 is called teenager. Contrast is means a big and or strong difference. Crime. Uh, just like killing or stealing, uh, this is kind of illegal behavior. Emotions and uh, emotions, we have uh, love, anxiety, joy, feelings, all of these are called emotions, Michelle. Vision, it means a picture. Volunteer, uh, the volunteer job is a work for free. There is no payment, no money for that job. Release is a verb. And uh, release, it means to lift things, to free them, to free things, to free people, to release someone from the jail, for example. Prepare, uh, uh, for example, uh, I'm preparing myself for the final test. It means to get ready. Deliver, and this is the last one uh, for the verbs, uh, take things to destination. Uh, do you remember, actually, um, there's a word called delivery, right? Delivery. In the heel, mustajal. We have some adjectives right here. Famous uh, is a well known. Lonely, being without any people around. Tough, very hard or strong. Fun means happiness or enjoyment. Fast means quickly. Uh, and we have phrasal verb. Phrasal verb means a a, a, a verb that consists of a verb and other words together. You bring the three words together to make a phrasal word. So that's why we call it phrasal verbs. A phrase it means uh, a group of words. A group of words. Okay, let us have a kind of uh, exercise for the uh, previous uh, vocabularies. The word means work for free. We said volunteer means to work for free, right? To work for free. The phrase big or strong difference means contract, contrast, and uh, actually it's A, B, right here, C. So uh, difficulty, contrast, and similarity. So here it's called A, Strong and a strong difference means a contrast. Uh, number three, you are because everybody knows about you. You are sick, player, driver, famous. You're famous. And the famous person is the one who everybody knows about him or her. Number three, four, uh, a person between 13 and 19 years old is called what? Is called teenager teenager the person who is between uh, 13 and 19 his age or her age is called teenager in our society mother usually her children and prepares food uh, kills do mother kills children <laughs> I don't think so goes for takes care of and sit out Take care of. Yatani B. 
الاطفال the word is the closest in meaning to the word picture we said if you go back to the meanings of these words you will find vision is the closest meaning to the word picture the box is it's not easy to break it heavy tough rough and red so the box is he tough okay tough tough manner huh classy so uh, some examples of are love feelings and joy sure how can love feelings and joy we call them much in Samiho we call them emotions okay we call them emotions Michelle so please do memorize all of these uh, vocabularies and their meanings and try to uh, study these examples okay uh, the one I have given you uh, now let us move uh, to the other major point in our class uh, called adverbs of frequency adverbs of frequency I guess that you are familiar with the adverbs of a frequency because you have taken such topics again and again in school in high school and in other uh, classes uh, I guess you're familiar with these uh, frequencies like always usually always even usually عادةً, often مرات, or sometimes بعض الوقت seldom نادراً وأكثر ندرة وغير موجود على الإطلاق all of these are called adverbs of a frequency in today's class we're going to talk about the where can we locate the adverbs of a frequency and what are their job their function okay and where can we use them so all of these are called frequency adverbs of a frequency first of all why and why do we use them why do we use the adverbs of a frequency we use the adverbs of a frequency to ask about how often something happened to, uh, to ask about how often okay how often an action happened okay to ask about how often an action happens so usually take a uh, hundred percent like I I, I mean always always you take a 100 per se uh, for example I always eat وهذه حقيقة دائمة كل البشر دائما بأكله okay I usually go to gym and often you ask about how many times you'll go for example I often go to gym twice a week twice a week so often is actually related to how many times we got so we're talking about twice we're saying twice a week Maratin. let us now uh, we will explain um, and understand these uh, adverbs of a frequency by using or um, doing some exercises okay first of all what I want you to understand the rules for these adverbs of frequency their locations okay now in this slide we're talking about the location and position of frequency adverbs and sentences first of all if there is only a main verb in a sentence we put the frequency adverb immediately before it لاحظوا هذا الجملة سامي is a friend 
respects always always respects respects never respects sometimes first of all the question is where is the main verb هل خيارات وين هو الفعل الرئيسي الفعل اللي هو respects هذا بنسميه main verb القاعدة بتقول if there is only a main verb in a sentence one main verb we put the frequency adverb immediately before it مباشرة قبليها إذا وين هو الخيار الصحيح C Sammy always respects his friends ما بنقدر نحكي Sammy respects always ليش لأنه الأدverb frequency جاء بعد المين فيرب وهذا خطا ان احنا وان مين فيرب في بي ايضا خطا لانه نيفر هي اولسو ادفيرب فريكوانسي فريكوانسي ادفيرب وجاءت بعد المين فيرب وايضا سمتايمز نفس التعليق ات هاز ذا سيم ميستيك سو اف وي هاف وان مين فيرب ان ا سنتنس وي شود بوت ذا فريكوانسي فيرب adverb immediately before it okay let us go to number two rule number two says if there is only one of the verb to be we put the frequency adverb immediately after verb to be احنا اخذنا الverb to be مثل is, am, are, was and where هذا شو منسمي verb to be هذا هو verb to be في المضارع وهنا verb to be في الماضي إذا كانت المين verb أو إذا استخدمنا if there is only a verb to be in the sentence we put the frequency adverb after the verb to be لاحظوا هذا الجملة the students فراغ afraid of the final tests أول شيء وين هو الجواب الصحيح كل هذا الجمل محتوي على verb to be students جمع verb to be الجمع هي R إذا منستبعد C ومنستبعد D لأنه من الجمع فإما A أو B the rule says if there is only one of the verbs to be we put the frequency adverb immediately after it إذا the question is The answer is this. The students are usually afraid of the final test. So we put after the verb to be. هذه خطأ لأنه frequency adverb جاء قبل. Three, if there is a, a helping verb and main verb in a sentence, we put the frequency adverb between the helping verb and the main verb the helping verbs أخذناهم اللي هي مثل verb to be أو verb to have verb to be أو verb to have our doctor فرا his mobile الآن إذا كان في عندنا helping verb و main verb frequency verb لازم تيجي ما بينهم لاحظوا A has switched off rarely هذا عبارة عن helping verb switched off main verb لكن هي خطأ لأنه rarely جاءت في الأخير rarely has switched off has switched off حكينا helping verb main verb frequency verb في الأخير إذا هي خطأ has rarely switched off هذا helping verb هنا main verb و frequency verb جاء ما بينهم هذه الجملة صحيحة because the rule says if there is a helping verb and a main verb the frequency verb adverb لازم يجي ما بينهم okay أربعة in case of a question we just replace the subject with a helping verb the doctor has never disappointed in any student has never disappointed any student الآن 
Has a doctor ever disappointed any student? So in case of this question, we just replace the subject with a helping verb. هذا ما أخذنا how to form a question. لاحظوا هذا الجملة اللي صار إنه فقط we replace. Replace يعني استبدال أماكن. Has a doctor uh, ever disappointed any students? And you know, you, you need to know that in questions, we have to change never into ever. In questions, we need to change never into ever. Okay, here we have a short exercise. My friend is very clever. He passes the test. He always passes the test because he's a clever, the key. Sometimes, never mutlaqan, seldom nadiran. My friend is very clever. He fails the test. Well, this is a joke. He fails. Fails when I also. He never fails the taste. So this is kind of a joke. Okay. Number three. A snake. No, I haven't. Have you seen ever? Have you seen never? Have you seen? Have you ever seen? Have you never seen? Hakina in no awal shit las mifhamu in no uh the we can't use never in a questions. We use ever in a question, sah? Fa either mistabad C or mistabad D. And the rule says that if we have a helping verb and a main verb, the frequency adverb should come between the helping verb and the main verb. لازم تيجي ما بين الفعل المساعد والفعل الرئيسي. لاحظوا هذه جاءت هذا هو الفعل المساعد وهذا هو الفعل الرئيسي. والفريكونسي adverb جاء في النهاية إذا خطأ. لماذا لازم يجي ما بينهم؟ لاحظوا have you ever seen هذا helping verb in a main verb. So here is kind of a short, you know, the position of these two adverbs as uh, before the main verb. هذا أكثر شيء لازم يعني تنتبهوا إلو before the main verb. Again, I always get up at six forty-five. Ali can usually play football. لاحظوا usually جاء ما بين helping verb و main verb. Mandy has Sometimes got هذا هذول اثنين هنا helping verb وهذول اثنين هما main verb فجاء ال frequency جاءت ما قبلهم بينما في إذا كان في الجملة main verb واحد بدون helping verb يأتي من قبله أما إذا كان بعد verb to be هو ال main verb في sentence it should comes it should come after the verb to be وهذه هي بعض الـ الـ الأمثلة اللي ممكن تقتدوا فيها أوكي okay. Ali always play the tents she usually eats some chocolate she often goes shopping he's sometimes late for work Ali hardly ever travels by cars he never smokes a cigarette so if you look at the frequency verbs all of them they either come before the main verb or between the helping verb and the main verb or after the verb to be. Okay, after we have covered the uh, vocabulary and uh, the adverb of frequency adverbs, let us move now to the reading section and let us read together this uh, uh, passage which you can find it on page 128. Some people go to work each day and then come home. They spend time with their, fam fa their family and friends. Maybe they watch TV or go to a movie. Sometimes they exercise or read. This is their life. But for other people, this is not enough. They look around their neighborhoods and see people with terrible hardships, sickness, loneliness, and homelessness. 
other people see problems with the environment. Many people want to help. They volunteer. They give some of their time to help others. Volunteers help in many ways. Some visit sick and lonely people. Some give their friendship to the children without parents. Some build houses for homeless people. So basically, here it talks about the volunteer jobs. What these voluntary people do for other people, for other pe weak people. So it gives us kind of peoples. Some people they like to watch TVs, others they like only to exercise and read, and others they give a help for the weak people. The most so suitable topic for the passage is homelessness, hardships, volunteering, sickness. So it was talking about the volunteering job, what the voluntary people do for the weak job. The underlined word exercise mean building houses, practice sports, question or test, it actually practice sports. This is what I mean by exercise. It's an example of hardship, volunteering, neighborhood, environment, homelessness. Homelessness, اللي هي التشرد. أن يكون إنسان مشردا without a house. من إن من غير أن يكون له مأوى. Why do people uh, give some of their time to others? To earn much money, to know the time, to help them, to watch TV. Why we give our time to, to others? Because we want to help them. The underlined pronoun there, right here, uh, refers to volunteers help in many ways. Some visit sick and lonely people, some give their friendship. So it refers to all volunteers, to all volunteers. Is the closest to meaning to phrase work for free? Work for free, أخذناها في الكلمات اللي هي معناتها volunteer. So we have covered now the reading section. It was very simple, easy, right? Finally, we're going to talk about the past progressive and the past uh, progressive, okay? First of all, the simple past. We, we've talked about the simple past in the last few lectures, right? And we said that we use a simple past to indicate exactly when an action or event took a pla uh, place in the in the past. لاحظوا في هذا الدايجرام شيء حدث في الماضي وانتهى في الماضي إحنا هنا now هذا future لكن الماضي في هو موجود هنا فشيء حدث في الماضي وانتهى في الماضي مثلا. I visited my sister yesterday. وحكينا إنه yesterday هي من العلامات على إنه الجملة في الماضي. We went out to dinner last night. برضو last night هي علامة تأتي في الجملة في الماضي. لاحظنا إنه في هناك شكلين للفعل. شكل ينتهي في إيد وهذا بنسميه الفعل المنتظم regular verb. والفعل ينتهي في شكل مختلف ما نضيف له إيد. هذه went هي ماضي من go. هذا بنسميه irregular verbs. حنحكي عن ال regular وال irregular verbs and I will provide you of a list of the most common irregular verbs. أما ال passive progressive. The passive progressive is used to talk about an activity that was in progress at a specific point of time in the past. The emphasis on is on the duration of the activity in the past. For example, I was studying for an exam while my mother was cooking dinner. I was studying for an exam while my mother was cooking dinner. So when so here we have two actions in a progress in the past. We were walking in the park around seven PM last night. لاحظوا ال past progressive بيختلف عن ال past. إنه في هناك وقت معين لحدوث الحدث. We were walking in the park around 7 PM last night. 
فأعطاه وقت specific point of time in the past uh, for example I was calling you last night at 7 o'clock I was calling you at 7 o'clock you say I was uh, sleeping at 7 فهذه منحكي عن شيء حدث في وقت معين في الماضي The passive progressive is often used with a simple past to show that one action was in a progress when another action occurred. So, في حدثين كان عندنا في الماضي. إنه حدث صار لما صار حدث بنفس الوقت. يعني لما كان. So we have two actions. One action was in a progress, مستمر. Another action occurred. فكان في حدث مستمر وخلال هذا الحدث حدث حدث آخر. مثلا I was taking a bath when, you, when the door rang when the doorbell rang I was taking the bang الآن وين هو الحدث اللي كان في progress اللي هو كان I was taking a bath وين الحدث اللي uh, حدث في خلال الحدث الأول اللي هو the doorbell rang مثلا they were eating dinner when the neighbors stopped by, uh, by for a visit. فلاحظوا الفعل اللي بيكون in progress, the action, the one action which is in the progress, we should use with the, uh, use the passive progressive with it. أما الحدث الآخر اللي حدث during the first action, we use the simple past. So here we started in the past, and it continues uh, to another time in the past, a specific point of time also in the past. Right here we have kind of activities. I want you to do it. Let me just do one of or two of them. We saw an accident while we were going to university. While we go into university, we saw an accident. So, had a simple past من C. وهنا لازم نستخدم اللي هو past progressive. The past progressive اللي هو شكله هذا هو. And bear to be plus I N G. We're going. When he, it was raining heavily. هنا عندنا past progressive لازم يجي الشطر الآخر simple past. When he arrived, it was raining heavily. طب مين هو الحدث الأول؟ إنه كانت هي تمطر في البداية. فاستخدمنا فيها the past progressive. So the action which is in, in progress is when it was raining. When it was raining, he arrived. As the children in the park, someone fell down. As the children were playing in the park, someone fell down. لاحظوا أيضا هذا the first action was in progress and the other occurred during that first action. Okay, I will leave the adverbs of frequency for you. Please just do it by yourself. Try to follow the rules that I have given you for the adverbs of frequency. And here's kind of a chart for you. You can uh, it's just a kind of a summary for you to understand how often do we do something. Okay, how often do we do something. For here, we, I, I'm going to stop. We've covered, uh, first of all, a list of vocabularies, adverbs of frequency, and a short cues, a short look at the passive progressive. And we said the passive progressive um, it, it talks about a, an accident happened in the past on a specific time in the past, a, a point of time in the past, while something else occurred during that first action. Uh, for here, thank you so much for listening. Wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.